I guess it's uh, satisfying to see this product that you made and like, you know, people like say, oh, I like the new issue, it's the best one, yeah, like pretty much people say that every issue. Every time we finish an issue, I always feel like, like when it gets comes back in the printer, I'm super overkill and staring at it for a month and a half. But then if I to look at look at it like a year later, I think it's really good and I'm stoked to check it out. Well, it started out as like a way to show the, the larger world about like the talent that a bunch of underground guys have. Like, it's not all just about the top pros. They're not the only ones that are really good. There's a lot of like unrecognized talent skill. That was like the beginning and just like an outlet for photography and for writing to get our message or whatever our message is or was to get it out to people so they don't see the same old crap. The reason we chose the content we did, or actually the reason we started making the magazine, is because like there was just nothing out there that, that showed what we were into, you know, the documentary and this kind of stuff. We like to see. Me and Jonathan started it in 1995. And we did the first issue at Kinkos. Um, well, the, the point wasn't really to make money from the beginning, but after we. We realized how much work it is to put to put in like so many hours and like you don't really get paid. Kind of got to start making money on things, otherwise it's just like a hobby that takes up all your time. Everybody pretty much is lagged, and then it all comes down to like the final, you know, like 96 hours when everything has to be done. So a lot of times things aren't done. Argue a lot about who didn't do enough work, and who did this and that, and this finger pointing and blame. Well, do you have done? No, nothing's done, dude. That's the no, fucking problem. You're all like working on it. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tell me which ones to do. They're, they're, they're done. They're all like almost done. Seriously gonna fucking kill you right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> Seriously. I don't know, kind of like the drinking and the smoking pot kind of like melds it all out. But without that, then it'd be even more hectic. It's just funny to watch people fall. It's just funny, you know? That's part of skateboarding, is to fall off your skateboard. Hopefully you can get back up. It's like the main focus of concussion, like from the beginning, was like focusing on the slam. Just one of the aspects of skating, especially, that people don't see is like they see the glory of the guy pulling the trick, but most of skating is all about like slamming and get hurt. It just seems like someone needs to pay more attention to like that aspect of it, like of like the pain that goes into like minor successes. I think the art is always insane. We always get like the best, like kind of underground but also like popular in the underground artists and like different styles. I think the art is really strong. Seems like with concussion, like I'm not saying in any way it's responsible for the resurgence of pool skating but it's kind of like growing along with that resurgence of pool skating and like I think concussion has the best pool skating footage. So people that like to get cool to different down with it. Yeah, your tools are fucking fun, man. It's the best thing about skateboarding, you know? Every single pool is different. There's always like some sort of bullshit or adventure to go along with it. But it's like a sketchy situation where you gotta get in and out real quick or you gotta like pop a couple fences and run through a field or you gotta hike out somewhere. Or there's always something about pool, you know, and they're never easy to ride with. All that shit you see, dude, it looks easy, but it's not even, not even at all. How much longer? Um, I don't know. I don't really see an end to it. Indefinitely, in, until like a, we're, I'm not into it, you know. Like, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not into doing it, then I don't want to do it. <laughs>